version 20 has gotten a new coordinate palette. To be able to create a terrain model, uh, we'll set the properties to only polylines uh, with a comma separation and we'll, uh, we'll check, make sure to check automatically save to file and then we can press OK. Just as a side note, to get a better looking model in the end, uh, we've also drawn a 3D polyline and snapped it to the edges of this map around here. Here we have turned off all the layers and we're only showing the height lines or contour lines. Um, and now I'm going to show you uh, a new type of palette that's called TurboCAD Coordinates. It's this box right here. Uh, and when I click this, I can click close um, and it shows up over here on the right. And then I can select all of this drawing uh, and I can export out all the coordinates of all the nodes like this. So I can just mark this and uh, click there and we can save this as a text file or yeah, as, as a TXT. And we can just click save. And then we'll open up the architecture tools. Um, we can just find the import terrain button here and we can locate the same file that we just exported out. Uh, we can just take a look at the properties first and make sure everything's correct. Uh, set to step 1 meter and we can turn off the label and visibility. Uh, make sure that it's level 1 and we can just uh, click OK to that one. If you open that, um, the terrain will come in like this. We can press the letter D to change the reference point to the to this corner, and uh, we can move this down and snap to that point um, because it's the same one. And uh, then we have a full terrain model. But uh, this is a bit too detailed. So what we can do is to explode it first and uh, then it turns into a surface. So then we can go to the tool called uh, Simplifier, TurboCAD Surface Simplifier, and we can set it to 15% um, and um, we, uh, we click this, uh, click the flag and say finish. And there the model became much lighter and you can see the contour lines that lie behind um, they are they are the green ones there if you look closely and then all we have left is to really slice the edges uh, and we've already done this on this one so uh, we can just change colors to a, to a different color and then we can see uh, that the model is coming up like this uh, this is a good starting point